Most people think they're describing the world, they're just describing themselves. Honestly, I see this all the time on my channel. I see this in comments. You know, your videos are just too long. <laughs> well, maybe their attention span is too short, but they don't, they can't think of that, right? They have no <laughs> idea. The world is misery. The world is unhappiness. The world is nihilism. The world is tragedy. It's like, you think you're talking about the world? You're just talking about yourself. Watching most people talk about the world is like watching some bird attack a pretend bird in a mirror. Peck, peck, peck. They think there's another bird there. It's just a reflection. They're not seeing the world. They're seeing, right? They don't see the world as the world is. They see the world as they are. Simply a confession that you're a miserable bastard. You're a miserable, nihilistic, do nothing, wet blanket, piss on human happiness kind of bastard. You're a dementor. You are a Nazgul. You are a horrible, soul sucking, depressing human being to be around. You can't stand who you are. You can't stand thinking it's just you. You can't stand the idea that there's a happiness out there that eludes you. So you say, life is pain. Life is pain. No, you're a pain. Life is misery. No, you're miserable. Life is tragedy. No, the tragedy is you think life is tragedy. And therefore, you can't be happy. Life is horror. No, you're horrible. <laughs> See, that, that's different. And these are the people who say, anyone who's happy is a fool. Bullshit. There's nothing easier in the world than being miserable. Nothing. Just fire up Twitter. <laughs> There's nothing easier in the world than being miserable. If happiness is easy, why do so few people do it? If joy is so easy, if joy isn't, listen, people are stupid as a whole on average around the world. If stupidity bred happiness, why are the least intelligent countries generally the least happy? Why? Why are the least intelligent people the least happy? Oh, don't get me wrong. They seem happy for a little while. There was a guy in my high school who was a party guy. Drank, smoked. I'm sure he did drugs. He was a party guy. Fuck that math test, man. I'm gonna live in the now. And you're sitting there studying for your stupid math test. And he's out there having fun. <laughs> Not studying for the math test. He's happy. He's relieved. He's having fun. He's dead now. Just heard it uh, maybe a year or two ago. Died. Oof. He died. What did he die of? He died of fun. He died of alcoholism. Because he was having fun. So much fun. It's like the marshmallow test, right? One kid is like, well, you know, if, here's a marshmallow. If the marshmallow is still here, when I come back in 15 minutes, you get two marshmallows. And there are two kids in the room. And one kid is like, oh, eat the marshmallow. That's how you fuel white privilege, just in case anybody wants to know, as so you eat the marshmallow. And <laughs> so the one kid and the other kid's looking over, like he's drooling, looking over at that kid saying, oh man, I can taste that marshmallow. I'm actually not a big fan of marshmallows, but anyway, some people like him. So, and he's looking over and it's like, oh, that kid is so, and the kid's like, oh, this marshmallow is so good. And, oh, I want to have the marshmallow, but I'm white, I can't have it. Winter, the color of snow that killed my ancestors. And... What happens 20 years, well, 20 years down the road, the guy who said no to the marshmallow is a lot happier usually, a lot more successful, a lot more productive and so on. So yeah, the antinatalist, life is misery and if you're happy, you're an idiot. <laughs> Bullshit. Happiness is hard. Reason equals virtue equals happiness. You have to know how to think rationally. You have to put your rational principles into action in a consistent way that doesn't get you killed. And then you get some happiness. You know what it's like saying? It's like saying, being healthy and fit and not fat. Well, that's for idiots. The really smart people sit on the couch and eat bonbons all day. It's like, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of a challenge to remain relatively healthy as you age. Sure. 
I mean, the things I've had to give up. <laughs> I don't eat dessert anymore. Don't eat chocolate. Don't eat candy. Don't eat cookies. What about stuff I have to give? Oh, yes. No bread. <laughs> Love me some bread. No bread for you. <sighs> my temper rises because yeast rises. It screws up my digestion. <laughs> and potatoes. Yeah, they were fun while they lasted. <clears throat> no potatoes for you anymore. What do you get? Gravel and marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's hard. Happiness is hard. Happiness is a sign. If like, if you achieve and maintain happiness, it's a sign of intelligence. It's a sign of perspective. It's a sign that you're not frustrated by taking on more than you can actually change, but not apathetic to what you can change. It's a tough balance. It means you found that Aristotelian mean between courage and foolhardiness, between caution and cowardice between trying to change the world without being enslaved to things you can't control. That's complicated. This is a big balancing act. People who are re reasonably happy in a consistent way know. It's a big balancing act. Doing good in the world is hard because the more good you do, the more evil people hate you. And knowing that you're doing good, stepping over all the hatred, maintaining your positivity, don't tell me that's easy. Hey, it would be easier to be happy in a future world where we're actually free human beings right now. Yeah, happiness, a little complicated. But the nihilists, the antinatalists, the existentialists, the postmodernists, happiness is stupid. <laughs> Emo is brilliant. Being miserable, being horrible. Values are for Goofs, man. Nothingness is where everything is. You <laughs> think you're smart, but you're happy, so you can't be. Because you don't see, man. You don't know what it's like to be this miserable. To see so deeply, to be so unhappy. Bullshit. This is the best time in human history to be alive. I swear to God. At least once every two days, I shit you not, at least once every two days, I say, hey, I've made it to 51, never got drafted. No smallpox. No bubonic plague. No starvation. Who's going to be unhappy? There's bad things happening in the world. Yes, there are. And for the first time, we can do something about it before it's too late. Not in hindsight, but ahead of time. Anybody who's miserable in the modern world wants to be. They're protecting the misery of their family. They don't want to challenge the misery of their friends. They don't want to find the glory within that lifts them up on angel wings. We can fly. We can communicate. We can chat. We can talk. We can reason. We can learn. We can think. We have access to all the world's information on a tiny magic palantir flat box of knowledge with a touch screen <laughs> what a time <laughs> to be alive what a time to speak when there's no gatekeeper i couldn't have had this 20 30 years ago i couldn't have had this barely had it started 11 years ago might not have it in another 10 i don't know but i'll be goddamned if i'll go down without a fight and we have a fight there are problems as there are always have been in human history but now we have the capacity to talk about them so yeah they're just confessing that they're too cowardly to be happy and too dumb too dumb to find the path to joy and i, I feel real sympathy because it's one thing to know that you're screwed up and to say wow i'm really screwed up you know like i've got a lot of reason to be happy but ah you know i'm really screwed up i mean there's got to be some way to be happy, and then you work on your self-knowledge, you work on facts, reason, evidence, honesty, you improve your relationships, you... Aristotle was talking about this 2,500 years ago, for God's sakes. How do you be happy? <laughs> you pursue excellence with the goal of virtue. You maximize the use of your mind in pursuit of the good. Now, the good may be moral virtue, it may be making the best violin, it may be making the best argument. It may be making the best company. You use your maximum potential in pursuit of the good, of excellence. That's what you do.
you milk your maximum capacity in pursuit of the good, whether that's art or arguments or business or what. Doesn't matter. You bring your maximum capacity in pursuit of the good. You add beauty and truth and virtue to the world to the greatest of your capacity. And that doesn't mean working 24 seven because that will not make you happy, right? <laughs> so we've known this for two and a half millennia. Expend your maximum capacity in pursuit of the good. No, I'm gonna convince happy people not to have children. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You think you're describing the world, you're just describing your own sorry ass self. And you don't even know it, and that's the problem. This is where the tragedy is, is they don't know that they're fucked up. They think that they're fucked up is enlightenment. They think that being miserable and niggardly and miserly is enlightenment. It's not, yeah. it's not. You have turned your own personal pathology into a universal absolute and a good. So good luck getting out of that.